Okay, so we're here today to talk about uh, optimizing laboratory exhaust systems to save energy. When you save energy, you save money. We have a research building. There's things going on in that research building with chemicals that can either have high orders or potential health problems. So we put in a laboratory exhaust system to make sure that whatever is going on in that building doesn't come back into your building or come into your neighbors. So that laboratory exhaust system is designed for a critical case or a critical wind condition to make sure that the plume doesn't come back into your intakes or in the neighbors. So here, that's our critical wind condition, our design case. The wind is blowing a little bit less strongly. That plume is going to rise up much more than it was under those critical wind conditions. That gives us an opportunity to turn the system down and save some energy, save some money. If the wind is blowing much more strongly, that plume is going to mix much more quickly in the atmosphere, again giving us the opportunity to turn the system down and save some energy. So, you design the system for a wind condition that occurs 5% of the time, 95% of the time, you have an opportunity to save some money if you know what the wind is doing.